Hello guys, <laughs> welcome back to another video with me Lewis. Um, as you can see we are back in the uh, in the Focus, um, doing one uh, one little mod today, or potentially two little mods today actually. Um, you may have seen in the last video that we bought uh, some new light bulbs for the car, uh, which are these ones, little auto beam indicators, which we'll do later on. We've also got footwell, um, what do you call them? Football lights, football unit light bulbs. Uh, it says it there, as you can see. Look, well, that's backwards to you. But yeah, auto beam football lights. Um, I've just had a quick play because it's not something I've messed around with before. I've not really messed around with light bulbs or anything. E exterior lights, yeah, but interior lights, not really uh, played around with. I know it's a simple plug and play system, but uh, I've just pulled the driver's footwell uh, one out. And uh, and as you can see, if you look, there's just sort of similar to what goes in uh, in the bulb just there. I had a play with um, with my Fiesta one when, uh, when I had my Fiesta a couple of years ago and they had uh, SMD plug-in boards, I think they were, little LED boards, um, but they were from CUK and they were fucking useless. Um, kept falling down and they kept just breaking, so in the end I just binned them. Didn't really have any, um, any football lights in them, I just got rid of them. But every time that uh, the plug lights into them they were just like they're either really dull or really poor colour so in the end I just didn't bother I bought a set do you know what I bought a set off eBay that's what I was going to say bought a set off eBay it's my neighbour uh, bought a set off eBay um, I think they were like two quid for front both sides and the front and uh, and yeah literally it was simple they worked and they were on the car they're probably still on the car now to be honest um, they were brilliant, they were like in the sort of that colour blue, just uh, where's my finger, just there. <laughs> it's really hard doing this backwards. Um, so yeah, sort of that ST blue that's there on the seat. Um, nice dark blue, it was quite nice actually. But um, yeah, I don't know if there's any videos of my um, my Fiesta on uh, on YouTube, but if I remember to, while I'm watching the video, I'll try and put like a photo of my, or a couple of photos of my Fiesta um, on this, this little video here, now. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'll do that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love my Focus, not gonna lie. I know a lot of people have asked um, why diesel, um, you know, why why that, why that this car, why that car. Um, it, I, I don't know, to be honest with you, I, I saw the car, uh, I knew I needed a diesel because of the mileage that I was doing, um, going from work and back. Um, and I do the fair, fairly odd journey every now and again, I go and see family members all across the UK. Um, so yeah, it was just the right thing to do, um, and this car really fit into the bracket. And I'm a Ford man, always have been. So uh, yeah, as you'll probably you'll probably see lots of Fords on my channel. Hopefully, this coming year, 2021, will be a good year. Um, got lots of things planned. Got a couple of car shows planned with uh, with Luke. Um, got a couple of holidays planned, which I don't think I'll video. Um, I might do a vlog or or something every now and again. But, uh, but yeah, not on the uh, not on the video. But I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm going to get into this uh, little video. It was a mad lady walking down the road. I don't know if you can see it. No, she's gone. Wow, next level hair. Got bright pink and purple hair. <laughs> right, I'm going to get into this video and start fitting these light bulbs. Um, if I can, I'll show you the uh, the chrome indicator ones as well. If I've got the right ones, which I hope I have. They're meant to sort of de-chrome, but uh, I don't know whether or not they're for the front or the back. I did ask for the front, but what are we thinking? We'll soon find out, eh? Right, let's go and get this uh, this ball fitted. Right, so first of all, you get your little light cluster, which is just obviously your plastic light. And uh, you've got to somehow try and unclip this. I think it has to lift up, I think. Or, or does it just... No, it doesn't pull out. It doesn't pull out because it's pull out game and strong. I might need to be right handed for this. By the looks of it, by the looks of it, you've got two little prongs just here. Yeah, it is that. Right. I'm going to somehow try and prop up my phone so you can see what I'm doing. 
um because i am filming on my phone ignore the dirt in my car i've not had a chance to clean the inside of my car for a very long time as you can tell look it's filthy hello woody um so yeah i'm gonna just find somehow or somewhere to prop up my phone and uh we'll get recorded right so tried it this way so i think what we need to do is ah there we go right so it's just come out straight away so uh this could be really weird to show you right these two sort of prong things here this one and this one if you can see it if i turn it to the camera is it going to focus no well these two prongs here you have to pull these apart like so and this has just decided to come out which is fine I can pull there we go oh, there you are it's all it is it's literally the size of a fingernail look it's all it is little SMD well I guess it's a motherboard of some sort but uh, yeah we'll pop that there right all oh, the heating's nice and warm in my car I'm not gonna lie it's absolutely freezing this morning um really is cold so I've got another couple of videos planned hopefully this week as I'm off I know I mentioned that in the uh, in the previous video right now these are tough to get into I do have a, a screwdriver next to me, but there's no way on earth I'm using a screwdriver to get into these. I'm just going to turn the uh, camera a little bit if I can. Pop it there. There you go. You can actually see what I'm doing now. Should have brought scissors out of me, I didn't think. To be fair, I might be able to. Uh... Yeah, it's coming. There you go. Going to work. Right, there's one. So all this is labelled with auto beam, or I turn it round, auto beam. And uh, what you need to do is you'll see uh, if I can show you. There's uh, that way. There's little slots just uh, up here. If you can sort of see, them. can you see them? Slot like through two little ones, three little ones. So you need to slide it through there. I'll try and do it as best as I can on on video. Ooh. there you go so just so you can see they slide into there just like that so they slide in as much as you can physically slide it in doesn't want to go anymore and then it's already started to slot in but I'm thinking for the sake of not breaking it if you can see where my fingers are push that little prong aside and then you hear it click like that there you are now, I am hoping, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that these are going to be blue. I tried to have a look on the LED, but you can't really see anything. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a faff. So I'm going to try and... That looks like it's in. It does look like it's in. Right, I'm going to grab the other one quickly, and I'm going to uh, pop the other one in. And then see what we can do. Right, so if I can, there should be somewhere. I think it's here. Where is it? There it is. This here. Right, let's pull this little kit down. Wow, this is actually stuck in. Put the camera down a second. Uh -huh. There we are. So there you go. If you pull that, pull that down, and there you are. Simple as that. Right, so we're back. We've got this one pulled out. This is the passenger one gonna do sort of the exact same thing pull these two prongs you form on your finger there you go so it pulls out and you just put it out there and get the other one your auto beam there we are again make sure it's face down there 
There you go. Push it in as far as it'll go. And you'll hear the click. And it's done. Nice and easy, just like that. Oh, that way around. So it's there. Well, it won't focus on this for some reason. If I put it there, is it going to do it? If I block me, is it going to do it? No. Well, got my breakfast on my finger. So yeah, that's it. As simple as that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug it back in or attempt to plug it back in and uh, make sure it goes in properly. And then we should hopefully, fingers crossed, have blue, uh, blue football lights, hopefully. These ones were red. These are the standard ones that you get from Ford. Um, Flex automotive lights. So they're, they're the standard uh, red colour lights. Although, to be fair, I don't know if they are the uh, the standard ones that come in the car. I need to do some research on that. But um, they look pretty standard. They don't, they're not labelled with any manufacturers. But normally with Ford, the lo the um they're loaded up with uh, Fomoco, which is Ford Motor Company um, logos on them, and they say they say amber on them, but they're bright red. It does genuinely say amber. I don't know if you can see it down the bottom corner. Literally just here. No, it's not going to focus, but it says amber in the bottom corner. Is it going to show you? No, it's not going to. Do it. I'm not going to. Not going to put that in the camera. <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's weird that one. So, all right, I'm going to go and uh, put these. Put these back in i'll try and video it put these back in and uh and yeah we'll get you all sorted right so we've got the first one little plug is just here Ah, we got blue lights up. There we go. Right, which way is this gonna go? That way. Blue lights. I'm just gonna do the same to the uh, to the passenger side. Need to pull the lights cable down. And again, plug that back in, push all the cables back up, put the clips back in. Blue bolts. Right, I'm going to try, I need to go and get me a screwdriver out of the car. Uh, Need to take the headlights out, so we'll do. We'll do this one first if I can. Put you guys in there. Need to work out how I can get these washer washer fluid uh, windscreen washer pipes off the um, the bonnet. Because I've got a mod coming, which that might have given it away. To be fair, but I've got a mod coming up. Hopefully this week. Look at my hair, disaster. I've uh, got a mod coming up this week that hopefully is uh, is going to fit on the bonnet. Missing something here. Awesome. There we go, that's got it. There we go. 
there. All right, headlight off. Yeah, so just so if I can show you guys, I'm going to turn the camera around while I'm doing this. It's upside down. <laughs> so I've just got this off, uh, which is a little plastic valet cap. If I remember right, I have to twist this and it comes out, which it does. And there we are, look. So I'm all right, Right, so you give me two seconds, I'm just going to get the light bulbs. Right, so these bulbs, they're going to get chucked away, so you can touch those with your fingers. The new ones, do not touch them with your fingers. Right, so those are now in. I've got to try and somehow get this back in here now. That doesn't look good if you just saw the police going past me. Hello, you. Ah, so there you are guys. Well, I don't know where my lights are on, but hey-ho, let me turn that off. So yeah, that's it. Nice and easy modification for an auto beam uh, front indicators and footwear lights as well for a Focus ST. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave me a like and uh, and don't forget to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, there is plenty more videos to come. There is plenty more videos on my channel as well. Uh, if you've got a Focus or a Focus ST, keep an eye on the channel uh, there might be some videos that you're thinking oh i need to do that or i want to do that modification myself then there you go you'll uh, see what's coming up on the channel and uh, and go from there for you so uh, yeah as i said thank you very much for watching hope you've enjoyed i've been lewis and uh, we'll see you on the channel sometime soon bye guys